So the next uh, topic uh, is a part of uh, Oracle Database Administration. I will discuss backup and uh, recovery process. So it is uh, one of the major responsibilities of a DBA <coughs> in which the DBA is going to perform backup and recover, uh, recovery activities. So now normally the original meaning of backup is what? Copying files to another destination. <coughs> so when you are copying files, uh, database files to another destination means what happens here so in case of uh, original database is failure damaged so because of some internal reasons what happens here the saved copy can be restored so the case saved copy can be restored okay so that is the main intention of uh, dba means uh, protecting of data from unauthorized access for from uh, failures of uh, media okay for any kind of reasons the, if the uh, original database is failure so uh, what happens here so the, the, the DBA is going to perform backup activity in which he is going to copy the original database to a secondary location. Okay, from the secondary location, so the files can be restored, the files can be recovered. So if anything goes wrong with the media, uh, original database. So this is a star diagram of backup and recovery process. Okay, so how many types of uh, backup uh, methodologies are there? So those uh, activities, those uh, types, varieties, so have been discussed over here <coughs> so backup and recovery process so mainly so this is uh, having what so backup and recovery so this can be of user manager backup so in the user manager backup what we are going to do means we are going to do two types of backup mechanisms one is hot backup and another one is cold backup so hot backup is also called as online backup or inconsistent backup and next category cold backup so this is also called as offline backup or consistent backup okay so what is the consistent backup and what is inconsistent backup we will discuss later that one okay so first i will discuss the types of backs of backup mechanisms so you this is another one one kind another category is logical backup so under logical category we have traditional backup is first category so for uh, making for using logical backup we are going to use two tools like exp and exp for exporting emp for importing the data so this is up to 9i version from 10g version onwards data pump utility was introduced here so under data pump so same thing so we, we can perform same actual logical back to logical backup by using two different tools expdp means data pump so this is also called as data pump so this is for exporting and this is for importing and when coming to other category, this is RMAN backup. So RMAN backup, it is, a it is a facility provided by Oracle Corporation. No need of uh, installing any other software while installation of Oracle software only automatically. So this will be installed. So it is a built-in tool of Oracle. So our RMAN backup again, so this can be of these types, full backup, incremental, differential backup or compressed or cumulative backup. And a RMAN backup can be configured into two varieties, no catalog mode and catalog mode. So what are the, all these, each and everything I will explain in a clear cut manner. And so when coming to restore process, recovery process, so the recovery can be either complete recovery or incomplete recovery. This is incomplete recovery. And uh, incomplete recovery can be either un, uh, up to a sequence change number up to a point in time or up to a cancellation so what is the, this we will discuss later so normally user manager backup so this uh, so this can be achieved by using operating system commands like uh, copy command move command by using cp command so we can take backup of cid files control control file read log file and data files okay by using operating system command so we can have this so this hard backup okay so hard backup normally so it is it comes under user managed backup so so this is also called as online backup and this is also called as inconsistent so what is actually inconsistent and consistent backup so before i am going to explain what is inconsistent and consistent backup so i must explain scn okay you must know about scn so which stands for sequence change number sequence change number so what is a sequence change number just i will explain 
so as we have discussed in the previous video sessions so a database is a physical structure so it is a combination of crd files means control files read log files and data files so whenever a checkpoint background process is occur what happens here automatically it is the responsibility of oracle to update scn number sequence change number into control files and data files what is the sequence change number so it is a unique identity number which identifies a particular transaction which identifies a particular transaction so each time when a commit command is issued what happens here it is the responsibility of oracle to update okay to advance sorry to advance the scn number forward into control files and data files means so every time commit command is executed what happens it is the responsibility of oracle to update to advance scn number forward into control files and data files so that what happens here so if at a time oracle is going to update uh, advances scn number into control files and data files means both files control files and data files will be having same scn numbers sequence change numbers okay so when data files and control files are having same sequence change numbers okay at that moment if you take backup so that is called as what consistent backup that is called as consistent backup other in some cases what are the some cases in cases suppose when the database is uh, shut down in abort mode shut down abort mode so in such case what happens here the, the oracle is not able to update mm, sequence change numbers in control files and data files okay at that moment what happens here the database becomes inconsistent that the database will be leading to inconsistent state so in such in such case if you take backup what happens here that backup will be called as inconsistent backup inconsistent backup means the sequence number the sequence change numbers of control file number control file and data file numbers will be different will be different so that is called as inconsistent backup so there is a difference between consistent backup and inconsistent backup so in the consistent backup the header parts will be containing what sequence change numbers so what are the header parts header parts of control file and header files of header part of data file names means so the sequence change numbers in control files and data files will be same in case of consistent backup means so that what happens here data the data will be same so in case of inconsistent change number so we are going to take data from in different different in point one different point in time means the sequence change numbers will be different for control files and data files so that is a difference between consistent and inconsistent backup so when you take a backup in a logical means this mode which mode hard backup so hard backup is also called as online backup so online backup is taken when the database is up and run when the database is available so we can take a backup so when you take up the take that backup what happens here that will be leading to inconsistent backup <coughs> and what is a cold backup here cold backup means so for cold backup so just we are going to use normal cp operating system commands using normal uh, uh, operating system commands we are going to take up uh, we are going to take backup of crd files control files read log files and data files okay so that comes under consistent backup and uh, when coming to arm when coming to this uh, which one logical backup so logical backup means so it is a backup okay so which which can be taken the logical structure of the database logical so what is the logical structure of the database normally tables procedures okay so these uh, items these entities will be included in the logical backup okay it is not physical backup physical backup is completely different and logical backup is completely different so logical backup means it is a process of taking backup so the logical structure the logical structure of the database we can be taken as a backup so in the logical backup what happens here tables procedures will be included so again the logical backup must be must be of traditional logical backup at data pump so traditional data traditional logical data traditional logical backup means so this is available up to 9a version from 10g version so we can have latest version that is data pump so data pump it is also advancement so it is advanced feature of this uh, traditional logical backups 
So in data pipe, we are going to take backups by using these uh, two utilities. What are the two utilities? One is EXPDP and EMPDP. And one more thing I have to explain to you, which is most important. Database backup, whole database backup, whole database and partial database backup. Partial database backup. What is the difference between these, uh, these both? Just I will explain. Whole database backup. Database backup means so it is going to include your yeah, old uh, database backup is going to include what control files read log files data files so partial data file parsable database backup means oh, it is uh, it may exclude either uh, read log files or control files okay so that is the difference between old database backup and partial database backup And what is uh, until SEN until time until cancel? Set the time of recovery process. I will explain each and everything. Okay. So out of these uh, backup methodologies, Armand backup is very latest and it is very powerful also when compared to user managed backup and logical backup. <coughs> so at the time of uh, Oracle instance, Oracle structure. I have explained so about uh, different background process like uh, DB writer, log writer, um, next. So this running database. So whenever checkpoint is occurred, what happens here? Automatically, the Oracle is going to write data from online uh, real log files to which one database actually the real log files are going to contain committed as well as uncom uh, committed as well as uncommitted data so whenever checkpoint is occurred what happens immediately the oracle is going to write the data from online read log files to database So out of all this, uh, this is the most important one, consistent backup and inconsistent backup. And uh, there is a lot of uh, difference between logical and uh, Armin backup also, and in hard backup also. So actually, why all these types of backups, OK? All, uh, why all kinds of backups are required? So what is the requirement? So what is the necessity? Just I will discuss here. Suppose, so a system is uh, running in 24 by 7 mode means uh, in 20, 24 hour 24 by 7 means banking organizations hospitals so these uh, more so these organizations will be running their databases in 24 by 7 mode so so in this uh, mode what happens is the database could not be shut down so in such cases so in such cases what kind of backup is required here hard backup is required and <coughs> user manager backup is completely inefficient okay so that is not involved in any oracle process so it is not inbuilt of Oracle process. So directly by using OS commands, we are going to take backup of so these CRD files. So it is not completely efficient. So when compared to RMAN backup. So these are the backup type, backup varieties.